following Gold Rush first round contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. We have one-on-one -on -one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. Some are saying he's in the best shape of his career right now. Would you agree with that, Corey? It's hard not to agree with that statement, Cole. I mean, just look at him. I'll tell you, he's going to be tough to beat, that's for sure. gentlemen it's now time for one-on-one -on -one action and michael it sounds to me like this crowd already picked the one who they want to win this match and he clearly comes into this match in tremendous physical condition yeah but where is he mentally cole that's the real question i don't care about how good you look if you don't have it upstairs you're simply not going to succeed You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. <laughs> Up and over with a suplex. Now we have Sami Zayn on the attack. Let's take a moment to talk about Sami Zayn. It's anybody's guess, I know, but what do you expect from him here? I can't wait to see how this one plays out, Michael. Both of these guys look like they refuse to lose here tonight. Yeah, well, in a match like this, strategy goes out the window. It's about who's more physical and who's more aggressive. Sami Zayn on the attack. Just a brutal backbreaker right there. Drew McIntyre faltering some. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. He's targeting the midsection here. He wants no part of the outside. He's trying to mangle his face here. And Sami Zayn reverses it. His shoulders are down. Didn't have to dig very deep to kick out of that one. Yeah, he's not done yet. What a maneuver! Got him with the elbow drop. There may be no escaping this fireman's carry. I don't know. Never say never, Cole. Drew McIntyre beginning to look a little weak out there. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. The amount of punishment he's absorbed. And there it is. 
Nobody does it quite like him. Oh, man, Drew McIntyre's in trouble now. Drew McIntyre made him pay there. down this could be it there's the pin it's over it's all over Here is your winner, Sammy Zane. The shoulders are down for three, and this one's in the books. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing. Making his way to the ring from Manchester, England, weighing in at 256 pounds, the British Bulldog. Here he comes, England's favorite son, the British Bulldog. And he is looking bigger than ever, Michael. Allow me to point out just how focused he appears to be here tonight. I noticed the same thing, Cole. In fact, it looks to me like he'll settle for nothing short of a victory here in this one. Dublin, Ireland. 
Here is Sheamus. And speaking of Ireland, it's worth noting that Sheamus is the first ever Irish-born WWE champion. Guys, this match will undoubtedly go a long way in determining just who is the most dominant superstar. That's what makes this match so great. These superstars clearly have a point to prove here tonight and will likely do anything necessary to go ahead and prove that point. Oftentimes in our business, the only way for personal issues to be ultimately resolved is two superstars enter the squared circle and go one-on-one -on -one in a good old-fashioned wrestling match. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. I don't want to know what that feels like. How about we touch on the British Bulldog a bit? It'll be interesting to see how he plans to get it done. What do you think? I like his chances here tonight, Cole. I know I'm not breaking any news here, but when it comes to singles competition, he really has what it takes. What else can we say? He can talk all he wants, but if he wants to be a force in the WWE, he's going to have to prove it in the ring. British Bulldog not looking his best right now but he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. Using his knee now. The bro kick is the perfect weapon for Sheamus to display all of his size, power, and agility. The Celtic Warrior just nails his opponent right in the face. He gets him with the overhand punch. Sheamus finding a path of destruction currently. Three. This is some great offense by Sheamus. Bulldog not looking himself here. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. Yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this match right now, which is a little surprising to me. At six foot four and weighing 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior puts everything he has into devastating his opponent with the bro kick, making it the ultimate death blow. The Celtic Warrior's bro kick is an unbelievable strike. The pages of the WWE history books will show that the bro kick has served Sheamus very, very well at the WWE locker room's expense. A strike out of nowhere. Sheamus looking a little shaken here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. This isn't his first rodeo. He had to expect to take on some offense here tonight. Well, he's tapped into a power source I wasn't sure he had. See if he can keep it going. He's not getting up. You can't like his chances right now. Irish curse backbreakers. Can't waste any time here. Come on, British Bulldog. You can do this. Nope. Reverses it. And Sheamus reverses it. Wave that Union Jack because here comes the British Bulldog. And he's able to get out. Wow, the British Bulldog showed some serious heart there. He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. Oh, 
The British Bulldog. Power personified. The Bulldog's in a good spot now. Bulldog has him up. What a power slam. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. Oh, and it's a reversal. This is some great offense by Sheamus. Going to be tough for him to fight back from this. Well, the first thing he needs to do is get back to his feet, which is clearly easier said than done. Oh, he's able to reverse it. British Bulldog is making his presence known. And there's another elbow drop. That can't be enough, can it? Both of these superstars looking a little worse for wear right now. Sheamus' legs looking feeble. He could be on his way out of this one. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. When you go for your finisher as many times as he has tonight, you expect to win. But right now, it looks like he may very well be on the wrong side of this decision. For a while there, it looked like he was going to take this match. It's amazing how quickly things can change here in the WWE. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. That'll put Sheamus in a bad mood. Moves like that have a way of reverberating throughout the entire body. British Bulldog is making his presence known. Bulldog has him up. Power slam! The Bulldog's in a good... He thinks he has it. This singles match is over. Here is your winner, the British Bulldog! Wow, huge pinfall win here tonight. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for the three count. And it'll be interesting to see the ripple effects this win has in the weeks to come.